Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. On this program, I want to take a look at a new presidential portrait of Barack Obama, and I believe this was unveiled either yesterday or the day before. And like so many things which come out of the New World Order and the Illuminati elite, it is chock full of satanic symbolism and sexual imagery. And in that respect, it reminds me very much of the Denver Airport murals. And I did a whole series of programs on those murals, oh, four or five years ago now, for which I was roundly criticized by Anderson Cooper. So don't tell Anderson Cooper I have now understood this new portrait of Barack Obama. And it's chuck full, as I say, by the artist whose name is Kahinda Wiley. It is full of satanic and sexual imagery. And I've looked at quite a few other people's videos, and I'm not the first to notice this, but I have summed it all up much better than anyone else, as I will show in a minute. Now, the first thing a lot of people have noticed is the sperm on Obama's left temple. And if you look at that, you can see it's that there's a patch of skin there that's very weird looking. It, it obviously does not look like hair. And if you look closely at it, in fact, Jonathan Clark says there are two sperm there. One uh, facing up and one facing down. At this point, I do want to congratulate Kahinda Wiley to a degree because I do think that the face on this portrait does look like Barack Obama much better than the uh, portrait of Michelle Obama, which doesn't look at all like her. So, and that's hard to do. I give an artist credit, but like any artist who has talent, they like to sneak in hidden images. And if they're working for the Illuminati, they sneak in not so pleasant images. And the second thing, which other people have pointed out, is that Obama has two right hands. If you look at what would be his left hand, he's got a kind of a hidden thumb curled under his hand. And I watched a video on this, and I forgot the name of the person, and he said that this is out of the Muslim Hadith. I'm not sure. And in that, I guess, in that book, uh, Allah is said to have two right hands. I haven't researched that, but you can look that up. It's certainly, Obama is shown with a very strange left hand. And the third thing I want to note is the goat horns on Obama. So let's take a little closer look at that. And I've shown an image of the horns above outlined so that I have separated the dark leaves from the light colored leaves. Now, Jonathan Clegg says that those are not horns. He says those are insect antennae, and that could be. I think horns fit the rest of the image. They also look like bat wings. And so how do we know that they are horns? How do we know that the artist intended that image? And you can tell because First of all, the location, directly on top of his head. Number two, you can tell by the symmetry. Those horns are even on both sides. Number three, the size of the two horns on either side are the same, and they are bent at the same location. That is not accidental. Those horns are real, even though they are very well hidden. And fourthly, I want to look at those leaves and the bush that surrounds Obama. What is the purpose of that? Well, as I say, this is an image of a horny goat. So I thought I would look up horny goat weed. And sure enough, horny goat weed looks an awful lot like those leaves. Now, other people's videos have said that's actually poison ivy. And Kahinda Wiley says those are African violets. But if you compare them, and I'm not saying that uh, Wiley showed 
horny goat weed because if you look at those flowers carefully they don't match but I think he was inspired by horny goat weed just like he was inspired to show Obama as a horny goat and if you, here's another example you can see that uh, the color of the flowers is similar and here's another example and there are different varieties of horny goat weed and if you take a close-up of the horny goat weed and the flowers and the leaves in Obama's portrait you can see that they look very similar and fifthly I want to show you the most important part of this image which proves that the artist is showing Obama as a horny goat and that is the legs take a look at Obama's legs those are not human legs those are goat legs notice how the flowers cut out visually parts of the pant legs and the legs are thin they are crooked they are bent and he has hoofs hooves I guess I should say and not feet none of this is accidental people this artist knew what he was doing. He's a talented artist, but he also has a leaning towards perversion. So now we have seen goat's horns, we've seen goat's legs, and we have seen horny goat weed. So what does that remind you of? Well, it reminds me of the pagan god Pan. I went to Wikipedia and I looked up this article and I read it. I will read it for you and you can read it on the board. Pan is the god of nature. That's why Obama is surrounded by leaves. The wild. In other words, that's why Obama is shown outdoors, even though he is sitting on a wooden chair. It is nonetheless an outdoor wild scene. That's because he is showing us Pan. Shepherds, flocks of mountain wilds, and is often associated with, get this, sexuality. That explains the sperm on Obama's forehead. Now this, this artist, Kehinda Wiley, he likes to put sperm in all of his paintings, but nonetheless, it also fits very well with his portrayal of Obama as the pagan god Pan. So let's continue this article. In ancient Greek religion and mythology, Pan is the god of the wild. That's what the artist is showing Obama in the wild. He has the hindquarters, legs, and horns of a goat. Well, we've saw, seen that. In the same manner as a fawn or a satyr, with his homeland in rustic Arcadia, he is also recognized as the god of fields, groves, and wooden glens. Because of this, Pan is connected to fertility. So once again, I think we are beginning to see a complete picture of what Gehinda Wiley is showing us in this image. And Let's take a look at some other images of Pan so that you can see that they fit very well with Kehinda Wiley's portrait of Obama. Here is another image of Pan. In other words, you can see the goat legs. You can see the goat horns. He's got big ears, just like Obama, and he is surrounded by vegetation. And he's sitting on a stump a wooden stump, very much like Obama sitting in a wooden chair. Now here's another image of the pagan god Pan. And you see the goat horns, the goat legs, the vegetation. None of this is accidental. Here's another image of Pan. The goat legs, the goat horns. Now you can't see the ears on this particular image. And there's not as much veg vegetation, but if you look at the top, you can see leaves and grapes and so on. Now here's another image of the pagan god Pan. And the legs, the horns, the ears. And the vegetation in this particular image is rather abstract, but there's no doubt that this Pan is outdoors. 
And now here's an interesting sculpture of Pam. And it still has the features, the goat legs, the goat horns, and the vegetation all around. I think this is in a uh, Britain garden, I believe. And lastly, one more comment about Kahinda Wiley showing Obama as the pagan god Pan. Is he also showing Obama as the Antichrist? A lot of people claim Obama is the Antichrist. And if Kahinda Wiley is showing him that way, then I think we'll see three sixes. Well, if you look at Obama's hands, let's take a close look up, close, closer look. He shows four fingers on his so-called left hand, two on his right. I mean, you can see the other fingers, but they're hidden. For a total of six fingers out in the open. There's your first six. And the artist verifies this numerology with the feet. Notice that there are four feet on the chair, two goat's feet on Obama, for again, a total of six. That's not accidental. This, this artist knows what he's doing. So where is the third six? Well, here's where it gets tricky. If you look at Obama's white shirt, it's in a V-shape. And just below that and to the right is one of his cuffs is straight. It is not curved. That is an I or a one. In other words, the artist is giving us the Roman numeral six, a V plus an I. None of this is accidental, people. Kehinda Wiley knows exactly what he is doing. So in conclusion, if I were Barack Obama, I would be very disturbed by this portrait. I would not want to be compared to the pagan god Pan. I would not want to have sixes on my portrait. I would not be, want to be compared to the Antichrist. This artist did a rather gutsy thing by showing us who Obama is. And since my last video, I did get one donation from Maria. Thank you, Maria. And if any of you would like to help me keep this kind of information on YouTube, no one else is telling you that Kehinda Wiley was inspired by the pagan god Pan in his portrait of Barack Obama. You will only find that here. And if you would like to help, click on the PayPal button, either on my YouTube channel or on my thirdeaglemedia.com website.